I am the Nagi prophet, Ki. I see the future through the words of God. I feel before me the one who shall lead our accursed nature to repose. That brave stature. It is just as the hunter who is praised in our legends. That hunter shall be known as The curse shall not be lifted until we are led to eternal repose. May the protection of Aaron be his. The Festival of the Father, the sound of winged minions, and so begins the ordeal. The tune of a Cocoon Master is such an enchanting sound. You will be a Cocoon Master someday. After all, you are the son of a Cocoon Master. That's the way it is. And as a Nagi woman, I will be your bride. But you know... Hey, you two! Getting a little hot up here, if you know what I mean. Louie! Oh no! Welcome home. Tonight is a very special night. We welcome the spirits of our ancestors. But your father might... Good idea. Rick Hetz has run away. He's run off, you know. It's all here, it seems as if it was stolen by a Nagi woman, and he ran off, he ran off, he ran off. His son is still so young, too young to become a cocoon master. Run away, will you? Cyrus, what are you doing out here? Without the Lion of Peril, Cyrus should not have a cocoon master. Let's see how you measure up to your lineage. Without the power to summon a magic beast, you are no threat to me! 
just the son of a coward. <laughs> Wake up! You cried. Aren't they are? Come quick! It's it's terrible. There's a thundering noise coming from the forest. It's got to be the demons. She's gone off to the watchtower all by herself. If it really. The beasts of knowledge, touched by the misery of the Great Father, they release a white beast unto the forest. Its howl is the requiem of souls. Hordes of winged insects have broken through the Divide Barrier and attacked the village. What can this mean? At long last, has Elrum's Day of Judgment come to Cyrus? I do not believe that the Divine Barrier of Gehenna will hold much longer. We must act. Do you not think so, High Priestess Garai? Destruction is often what comes of the beasts of knowledge. This could be an act of man. The minions of the forest could not have broken through the Divine Barrier on their own. Whatever the cause may be, once the insects flew off, many of our people fell into a sleep from which they cannot wake. We must do something. I deeply regret to say, those winged insects are the only boo-boo, the locusts of apocalypse. The dust spread by the only boo-boo plunges all into sleep, returning them to the earth. 